Okay guys, what's going on? It's Jay Huss here today with a new video and this one is going to be a guide on Wildy Worm. Um, so what we're going to do is show you the drops, how to get there, how to kill it and the kind of gear requirements that you need. Um, so as you can see, Wildy Worm drops all this stuff, uh, all the Blood Mancer equipment, the Wildy Worm pet, the Lava Whip, the Infernal equipment, uh, coins and donated tickets and the big infernal stone um, the reason people are doing worldy worm is for the stone like that's the main item that people want because it's worth around 700 bill and makes the infernal cape uh, it is I believe a 1 in 5k drop rate if we go check now uh, these are just the drop rates for the items that we can get and it's yeah it's a 1 in 5000 drop rate so it is pretty rare, but if you get your hands on one of these, you are set for the game. Um, Worldy Worm also has a stronger variant, which is the Blood Worm, um, which spawns 1 in 100 after you kill the worm, or if a Blood Worm scroll is activated, which you can get as a drop. Um, and then here we've got the Blood Worm Pet, which is around 200 bill. The Infernal Stone, again. And the Bloodmancer Pendant. The Bloodmancer Pendant is still around 1 trill plus and it's less drop rate than Infernal Stone. So if you get one of them, you are cashed for the game. Okay, so the gear setup that I would suggest if you are new to this and you are like kind of not rich kind of thing would be definitely a blowpipe and then this gear. This is like the cheapest gear that I'd go for. Like if you can't afford this gear, then I wouldn't bother doing Worldy Worm. This is around like two build, two point five build. Um, so what I suggested using the Slayer helmet, the blowpipe, and just like also decent range gear. Uh, you don't need an alien pet. It is just easier for me to make this video with an alien pet, just because it's like portable, tell it around and stuff. So what we're gonna do is show you the two different spots for Worldy Worm, which I would suggest doing. So you teleport to Worldy Worm in your boss tab, and I'm not going to tell you how to kill it yet, I'm just going to show you why I'd kill it here. So you run to this little rock here, and make sure you're behind it. I need the other attacking them. Left click attack, there we go. Alright, so... There is some prayer mechanics which I will get into in a second. I'm just going to kill this one, show you why you kill it this side. So, like when the Woody Worm gets half health, like around now, um, these things spawn, these little Blood Worms. If you're stood around that side, they attack you and deal damage to you. But if you're around here, it's kind of a safe spot from them, which is um, a lot nicer as you can't get hit by them and you can't take damage. So you should be able to do this without taking any damage and just use prayer, posh, prayer potions efficiently. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at that. The Bloodworm will be rising at the Bloodworm layer in 60 seconds. Alright, so that's one of the spots that you kill it. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you a Bloodworm kill. Uh, I am in the max gear at the moment just because I want to do the max damage if anyone comes so I can get the kill on the Bloodworm. Um, because I was the one that kind of got it, so I want it to be my kill, like someone else here, Juicy Orange. Oh, that's another YouTuber, yo yeah, dude. Um, so what we're going to do is kill this worm. Oh, he's got a T-bow and everything, he's going for it. I think my T-bow will hit his blowpipe though, so it should be fine. If you're doing blood worm, I suggest you can bring like a vengeance as well, if you've got a room pouch and like Venge and let the Worldy Worm hit you because it hits high and deals good damage for Vengeance. So we'll see if we get this kill, I hope we do. I always bring a Treasure Fairy when doing Worldy Worm as well just due to the fact you get more drop rate and potential better loot. Alright so we didn't get a loot from that, I'll show you the loot that we got from it. Is Blood Money and coins 74 mil and 15 blood money. So that is the blood worm, it is the exact same as the worldy worm, but just
just stronger, I guess. Okay, so the second gear setup that I suggest if you are kind of rich and you still want to do Worthy Women Camp It would be this. You can obviously downgrade because I do risk when I do Wieldy Worm. Like, I risk my full Karazi and uh, like Swift Gloves and stuff. But, this is the kind of gear setup that I would suggest just due to the fact that it's max DPS, you're going to get most of the kills if you're wearing this. I suggest bringing an Alien if you've got one and a Treasure Fairy pet. Uh, these are just because the Treasure Fairy will give you extra drop rate and the Alien you can get out of PK as cool. So I suggest using the Fused and Twisted though, definitely, just due to the drop rate and the damage boost on the NPCs. A Com Cape or a Bounty Cape for the drop rate would be essential. And this kind of inventory, it's the same kind of invent, just literally I've got a Treasure Fairy Dins Bulwark and stuff in my um, inventory just to tank if a PK comes and I like, somehow get TB'd. But I'll show you the second location now of Worldy Worm. And I know I haven't showed you guys how to kill it yet, but I will show you after I've showed you the locations. <coughs> so I teleport to 44s or KBD layer, and you can just run down here. Also, if you don't have an alien and you want to do this, Worldy Worm is just east of here at like level 42. Um, you can run to the west and go down KBD layer and teleport out that way. Uh, or use the obelisk at 44s. Um, both of them are easy enough escape methods if you are getting PK'd or you just want to get home. So we'll go through these webs round here and here is basically a safe spot. So if a PK comes like this guy's a PK, imagine his on you, look at him trying to hit, trying to hit me now. Um, he cannot hit us just due to the fact we are in a safe spot all the way around here and no one really comes out of the way just to come round here just to kill you so what I'm going to show you is there's two attack styles that Worldy Worm has he's got one where he dips his head and shows like a fireball and then that one there which is like a boulder attack so that boulder attack there is prey and range it's the same mechanics as Jad so these boulders you keep prey range on and when he dips his head like that and throws a fireball that is a prey mage it is pretty simple but I remember when I was first doing Worldy Worm, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I scored up with a blowpipe. Oh, I've got a target teleported to me. And he's Ellie Berry rushing me. Oh my god. Yeah, it didn't work, bro. Um, so what we do is literally... Prey on his, prey on his attacks. Don't know why I'm praying Eagle Eye when I can pray up Rigor. And I just missed that prayer. And... Basically that's it. I'll show you a few kills just so you can see um, where I'm pre and what I'm doing. And I'll speed it up now and show you a few kills. Okay, so I'm just going to show you again how to kill Woolly Worm if you didn't find it clear or didn't get it. Um, I always start with Prey Mage. It doesn't matter which one you start with. You just attack the Woolly Worm and you see the boulder come down, you pray range the same as Jad, boulder again, range, head dip and mage burst, prey mage, and then range again for the boulder, and I missed that one there by accident, um, but it's not too hard to get used to, like you can literally do this 10 times and you'll get it perfectly. Like sometimes you see that boulder doesn't come um, when he dips his head and doesn't show like a mage burst that means you pray range that's the boulder uh, I think that's a little bit of a graphical glitch at the moment but it's nothing too big drop the fairy pet see what we can get All right. um, so yeah like literally it is mage and range uh, I suggest killing this with range you can kill it with mage but it's not efficient like it's so much better to kill it with range it's so much more damage per second and all that kind of stuff and what we'll do is one more kill okay so that was range that's why I sometimes start with range to be fair just because if he does that attack you can't really see it I've got the boulder again 
the uh, Mage Prey, the Boulder. I don't know if it is a Boulder, but I'm calling it a Boulder just because it's kind of what Jad drops and it's the same kind of mechanics. But honestly, it's nothing too daunting. Like when I first came, I shit myself because I scored up with a blowpipe. There was a PK here, the PK hit me. The worldy worm hit me. I just got stacked out, and literally, like my um, my life was over. I lost my blowpipe, which was my bank at the time. So when I first came here, I didn't know what it was. Uh, I just got it as a slayer task. But once you know how to do it, it's so much easier. You can also save spot like here, but it takes longer to get to, and it's, there's no point in doing it. It's better to come here, uh, just due to the fact that you're not going to get PK'd either way. Like. If I come here and I see a PK come back and drop my alien and tell you out, if you don't have an alien you can run round and you're straight back to the KBD layer. It's an easy escape, like, honestly. Um, so yeah, that is basically it for Worldly Women. It's not too hard, it's not too straining. Um, like, you can get it as a slayer task, as you can see, I've got one now. Um, and that is basically it for the guide, guys. Um, if you have any questions around Worldly Worm or you need any help, um, give me a PM, I will happily help you with Worldy Worm. If there's anything I've missed out of this guide, please let me know and I will um, try and do something for it, like add a little bit onto another video on my next guide. Uh, I'll try and do something like that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you comment your in game name, you have a chance to win a. Um, uh, free treasure fairy pets today sorry I forgot what the giveaway was it's for free treasure fairy pets um, all for one winner so if you guys want this then leave a like a comment and subscribe uh, if you click the link in the description as well for the giveaway if you click the link it'll make sure your account is registered for the giveaway if you don't click it someone could steal your like, name for the giveaway and you might not win uh, so I hope you enjoy and if you did then Follow them three steps and you could win three treasure fairies. So I hope you guys enjoyed and that's J Hus out.